even if you can't see the guy next to you, you can feel him. That's not only the clock. It's head to head. And it's just a full on sprint, just as fast as you can go and outdo a guy next to you. Welcome to the World Pro Ski Tour. Today it's the Rocky Mountain Pro Ski Classic from Snowmass, Colorado. A perfect day for racing with air temperatures in the mid 30s, light winds and partly cloudy skies. The format features two identically set dual slalom courses, 28 gates with two pro jumps, two run single elimination format. And in the round of 16, there were plenty of highlights. Michael Ankeny eliminated Chris Acosta. A.J. Guinness defeated Isaac Klein of Sweden. Then we saw David Chodunski, freshly back from the Olympics in Korea. With some powerful turns, he advanced over Cameron Smith. And finally, Slovakia's Andreas Zampa edged out Sweden's Rickard Kadre. Here's a look at our quarterfinalists featuring America's top Olympians, Michael Ankeny and Nolan Casper. Speaking of Olympians, let's go to my partner, Pam Fletcher, with the Greenhead Lobster Inside the Gate Report. In dual panel slalom racing, the double cross block technique allows the racer to get the skis closer to the turning pole. On approach, the racer wants to have their arms up and in front of them so that they can block the poles out of the way and take the gate out with their shin. The goal is to block high. Blocking low is slow. Taller racers have an advantage, especially on the flats. The key is not to sacrifice momentum and a good powerful turn in an effort to cross block. One wrong move and the gate wins. Thank you, Pam. Let's go to the start right now and Michael Ankeny shares his thoughts on course conditions. With the warm temperatures coming in later in the day, um, it's definitely gonna make the top layer a little slushier. Depending on how people wax, maybe it's gonna make the skis a little slower um, on the snow. But we did a great job with course prep yesterday and Aspen Snowmass has been helping out with uh, the snow preparation. So we, we were able to get down to a decent base. It's still gonna be bumpy, but we're tough boys. A bumpy course, sounds very interesting. Warming temperatures, could put some big ruts into this race course. Yuri Michel, representing France, living in New Mexico, college student, trying to chase down Michael Ankeny with a blistering start and some beautiful turns. Take a look up top here. They're getting into the softer snow now, and the ruts are starting to take shape. In the back seat goes Yuri Michel. Michel fighting hard to stay with Ankeny. Ankeny with some nice cross blocks and now some tucks. And a quick run for Ankeny and take a look. 0.75 advantage. Let's go back up to the start. AJ Guinness has a simple race strategy. Get a good start and stay with your opponent. When you're skiing next to somebody else, it's important to kind of want, want to be either next to them or ahead of them because you don't want to be behind them and kind of like get distracted by them. So get, getting a good start is really important to just keeping to your game plan. Quarterfinal heat number one, A.J. Guinness on the blue course, Tucker Marshall on the red course. Okay, red course ready. Yep. Loop course ready. Yep. Race is ready. Great start for both racers, A.J. Guinness and Tucker Marshall. Marshall into the tuck for just a couple of seconds. It's A.J. Guinness taking the lead. And then one turn later, it is Tucker Marshall now into the lead. Off the bottom jump, they're dead even. Here they come, they're getting a little wild. AJ Guinness throwing it all he has at the gates. A couple of wild turns and take a look. Tucker Marshall comes across sideways into an outrigger. What a fabulous race. 
Now let's go back to the top with Olympian David Chodonsky, just in from Pyeongchang, Korea. I wasn't sure it was going to happen. You know, I went to Sochi and things didn't go that great there. And, um, you know, it wasn't like a live or die goal to go to the next Olympics, but uh, um, it happened and I'm thrilled and honored to have represented Team USA there. Pretty low key. David is a two time Olympian and in Korea, no problem. 18th place in the slalom. He's up against Kai Kulberg out of New York, the 22 year old. Is he going to school or be schooled? Well, he's up against an Olympian, and the Olympian, David Chodonsky, takes the lead. But take a look at the youthful exuberance of our young skier out of New York, and he gets back on his skis and loses a lot of time. Now he's playing catch-up. Chodonsky, no mistakes. And take a look at Kai. Kai gets backwards and off course DQ for him. And it's an easy point seven five zero for David Chodonsky. That's a solid first run. Looking at that run again, Kai Kahlberg gets launched by a rut and DQs his first run. Now we go back to the start. We talked with Nolan Casper, Olympian and Waterville Valley champion. Oh, the Olympics were amazing. Um, obviously didn't do as well as I had hoped, but just being there was an amazing experience and, and being able to go to the closing ceremonies and, and see the other athletes and meet some of the other Team USA athletes was, was a lot of fun. Quarterfinals continue. Three-time Olympian Nolan Casper from Warren, Vermont, up against Andreas Zampa, also an Olympian from Vizoke Tatre, Slovakia, and the Slovakian skier staying right with Nolan Casper. Casper, he lands first off the top jump, but here comes Zampa. Zampa with some nice turns, and now into the tricky section, and he gets back on his skis, gets on the inside ski. He's all over the course. Casper, solid. Zampa gets wild. Nolan Casper with a first run max advantage of 0.75. Zampa, quite impressive, really staying with it. But at the bottom, well, things come unglued, and one mistake on a slalom course leads to another. And you can't do it on this course. Stay with us. More great racing action ahead. Pro Ski Tour on Senior Sports Network is sponsored by Aspen. Aspen Snowmass. It's the Aspen way. Welcome back to the Rocky Mountain Pro Ski Classic from Snowmass, Colorado. David Stanfield with Pam Fletcher. The sky is clearing. And Pam, what are the conditions on the course? Well, the temperatures are warm here in Aspen, and that means the snow is soft. And the course conditions have already started to rut up around the gate. The competitors are going to have to use that rut and work it, juice it from turn to turn to get speed. Back to the top. Yuri Michel, a Lobo, representing the University of New Mexico, up against Michael Anthony, who's got a solid lead after the first run. A lot of pressure on Yuri. Yuri's slightly behind right now, just getting used to the pro jumps. Yuri takes the lead. Yuri putting the ruts to good use, and Yuri's going to fly off this jump. And a couple of turns, there he gets into the back seat and all is lost because take a look, Michael Ankeny has slipped into the lead and it looks like he's gonna win both runs. Ankeny, a 0 0.75 second advantage, he turns it into another win. Let's check in with Pam at the bottom. Michael, it's really becoming a wild ride up there with some of the ruts. Yeah, you really have to pick your battles where you need to set up where you can send it and uh, just hold on. Tucker Marshall on the blue course needs to make up 0 0.072. That's not much, but he's up against AJ Guinness. Guinness, Red one of the ready. fastest yep. qualifiers. Ready. Yep. Ready. Guinness wasting no time to push through the gates. And instantly he has a lead on the red course. 
Very aggressive start. Moves into the lead. Now the pressure is strictly on Tucker Marshall. Marshall can see him out, and Marshall looks pretty casual. Marshall needs to be within about a foot at the finish. Again, the, the time differential just 072 wins back to back AJ Guinness into the semifinals. And Pam Fletcher is standing by with AJ Guinness. You know, even with an advantage, it really is a lot of work out there. Absolutely, especially on that red course. So you can get after the jump. Really big hole there. You gotta give it all you got. Keep it going. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. At 9,000 feet above sea level, these racers are gasping for oxygen. Kai Kahlberg has got his work cut out for him. The veteran, David Chodunsky, with a 0.75 advantage. And here they come. Kahlberg with a slight lead. Chodunsky on the blue course keeping up with Kahlberg. Keeping a close eye on him. Kohlberg now trying to stretch out the lead. Here into the difficult section. Kohlberg makes it look easy, handling the ruts perfectly. Here comes Kohlberg. Is this going to be the upset of the day? Here comes Chodunsky, though. And a quick lunge and Chodunsky. Well, he doesn't win the race, but the time differential going for Chodunsky, and he's going into the semifinals. Let's go to Pam. Kai was skiing fast, so... Uh, I saw him pulling away a little bit, but I, I knew as long as I kept off with him and then across the finish is about the same time I had it. So, um, yeah, I just kept calm and um, had a good run. At the bottom of the quarterfinal bracket on the blue course, Andreas Sampa needs a 0 0.75 to advance over Nolan Casper on the red course. Zampa is bound and determined to make a comeback. He's really pressuring Nolan Casper. Casper on the red course, and the ruts are starting to form, especially off that lower jump here. It's not that turn, but this one, and Casper gets thrown off course. DQs. Unbelievable. Andreas Zampa into the semifinals. What an upset. What an early Christmas gift. Thank you very much, Nolan Casper. The red course, second gate below the bottom jump is the culprit once again. And it catches Nolan Casper and puts him off course. That is a huge upset. And here we go. Our semifinals look like this. Michael Ankeny takes on AJ Guinness, David Chodunsky, and Andreas Zampa. Great semifinal action coming up. Participation is building semifinals coming up. The Rocky Mountain Pro Ski Classic, Snowmass, Colorado. The sun is out. David Stanfield with Pam Fletcher. We've talked about the ruts that are forming, and it is a challenge in this first heat. Michael Ankeny in red, red course, up against AJ Guinness in blue. And they blast out of the gates. These are two of the best on the World Pro Ski Tour both in a semi-tuck, both landing equally and then getting thrown a bit out is Michael Ankeny on the red course, but he handles it quite well, staying right with it. In fact, he has taken just a slight lead. Head-to-head -head racing at its best. AJ Guinness on blue, Michael Ankeny in red. And again, back into their tuck and trips the timing lights. How close was that? 0.014 Ankeny wins by what would seem to be about three inches. Take a look at the finish line. Tripping the timing lights, leaning forward with their forearms, and that is as close as it gets. Back to the top. Andreas Zampa from Slovakia up against the Olympian David Chodunsky. Chodunsky on the red course. Well, a solid start for the Slovakian skier. And it had him in the lead for a bit, but a couple of quick turns, Chodunsky takes the lead. Backlight conditions, the sun is out. 
And the ruts are getting deeper. Chudunsky on that red course. Here's the difficult section. But it's Zampa on the blue course. He gets thrown out. And everything twists and turns. And the ruts now on both courses are becoming a challenge. David Chudunsky with the advantage. And that blue course, he gets caught in the back seat and just about hits Chudunsky. And Pam Fletcher is with him now. I felt really good. Um, some of those turns you can, you know, really hammer still. And then there's a couple you got to be careful with. Back to the top, semi-final heat two. This is it, now or never. A.J. Guinness is chasing down Michael Ankeny. Ankeny on the blue course with the advantage, 0 .014. Both of these guys don't make a lot of mistakes. They are relentless, and both are sure-time winners if you had to bet on them. But the ruts are definitely causing problems. A.J. not with the perfect line up top, now takes the lead. Putting pressure on Ankeny. Ankeny goes wide into a rut. Ankeny gets thrown off again and again. Here comes AJ Guinness. AJ crosses the line, trips the timing lights, and that's another upset. But look at this Michael Ankeny being manhandled by the ruts here at Snowmass. Pam Fletcher is with one of our finalists, AJ Guinness, in the finished corral. 0.14, that is not a lot to work with when you're sitting there trying to win a race. Absolutely not. Would have been more like a second, would have been better. <laughs> but Michael is an incredible skier, so even being that that close to him is incredible. Oh, <laughs> you were head to head there for so long. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Who's AJ going to meet, David Chudunsky or Andreas Zampa? Zampa's got a lot of time to make up. It's Chudunsky on the blue course with a time advantage of a .750. So you know he's just going to pace the Slovakian. Andreas Zampa has been so good all day long. Relentless on the course, giving it 110%. He's in the lead right now. And that red course throws him off sideways. Here comes Chudunsky. Chudunsky on rails right now. The blue course, he takes another win. And the skier today, with the least amount of mistakes, usually advances. Working with the ruts for speed and line, impressive skiing for David Chudunsky, who is all smiles and is with our Pam Fletcher. Any thoughts going into the final? How good is that no, ski just, racing? It'll be a good battle. Um, it's going to be fun. Made the best man win. Yeah. To determine our champion. More dual course action coming up when we return. This is the World Pro Ski Tour, the Rocky Mountain Pro Ski Classic at Snowmass, Colorado. The finals are set to go. Two runs to decide a champion. David Chudunsky on the blue course, AJ Guinness on the red. Each of these skiers have defeated four different opponents. And on course they go. This is the rematch of last year's championship at Sunday River, Maine, and they are dead even. And they land perfectly together, side by side. The blue course, though, it's really running up and causing problems for Chudunsky. AJ Guinness with the lead right now into a difficult section, no problem. Chudunsky gets caught on the outside ski, and Chudunsky now finds himself in chase. AJ Guinness trips the timing lights, and with the advantage of a 0.617. AJ, with a fearless and almost flawless race, is with Pam Fletcher in the finish corral. This is 10 ruts in for every single athlete. It takes a toll on the course. It's really bumpy. And a toll on you. Yeah, absolutely. But I think it's probably one of my best runs down that thing, so hopefully I can do one more. A spectacular day in Aspen, Colorado. Spring-like conditions has its challenges. Pam, what's your take on the course? 
It is a wild ride up there right now. There's ruts in the course and the racers are getting twisted and sideways and you don't want to be off balance when you're going off those jumps. You couldn't ask for a better matchup. Our 10th and final run, AJ Guinness with the advantage on blue against David Chudunsky in red. Well, Chudunsky's so happy he's not on that blue course. On the red course, he needs to make up some big time, a .617. And here he comes. AJ Guinness has fallen behind by a half gate. Chudunsky. He manhandles those two turns on the red course. He is in the lead, but here comes AJ. AJ Guinness looking solid at the finish. Well, he knew he did it. Chudunsky looks over and says, okay, you got the winner's check. An amazing day of racing. These racers matched each other turn for turn. It was AJ Guinness narrowly with the win. Our finalists are with Pam Fletcher in the finish corral. Boy, it was a battle to the finish. It was, absolutely. I mean, AJ and I met last year in Sunday River, so, um, I mean, we've been skiing with, with each other all year. Super fast skier, so I knew it was going to be a battle. AJ pulled it off. He's the winner. Well, what does it feel like to come into the battle that's kind of a repeat of Sunday River and pull it off? Well, it's great. I mean, days of one of the guys I idolized growing up on the team. He's one of the best skiers in the world, so to even be competing against him is a great honor. Final results of the Rocky Mountain Pro Ski Classic here at Snowmass Colorado. AJ Guinness, our champion. Coming in second, David Chudunsky. Third, Michael Ankeny. And fourth, Andreas Zampa. For Pam Fletcher, I'm David Stanfield. We'll see you at our next stop on the World Pro Ski Tour. It's Sunday River, Maine. <laughs>